Hey there. So one of the things I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, this part of the piano action is called a weapon. And so it's got several moving parts in there. It's got springs that allow this to move in certain ways. And this one here, if you can see, the hammer, when you hit it, hits this, drops down a couple of items here. But this should be springier. That should not be so slow in returning. It should be, should be quick. Let me see if this one's in better shape. So this one's a little better. You see when I release, it just goes right back. And it, that one's pretty quick enough. It could be a little faster. And so the reason that this one here is so slow, and I've had several that I've had to work on, is this pin right here is, is either too tight or not lubricated enough. And it's basically a, a steel pin that goes through this lever and it's surrounded by felt. And so this one releases very slowly. So what I have to do is remove that pin and then I've got uh, different little tools that will go in here and kind of sand the opening of the felt sort of uh, sand it down to, to a proper size. And then I've got some special powder here called PTFE powder, which is a microfine, almost like a powdered Teflon, to lubricate that. And then once I put it back together, it should be a lot faster. So this is whipping number 59. And like I said, I've had several, but I wanted to record one so I can kind of show what, what the procedure is. So let's see if I can go ahead and knock this one out. This is the tool that I use to remove the pin. And so what I do, if you can see, it's got a pin right there that pushes this pin out. So I have to aim it very carefully. So I don't, I don't want to push out the felt. I just want to push the pin out. So this part I do kind of slow, there it goes. So I squeeze that, remove this, and now if you can see the pin popped out the other side. So I pull this out, set it aside, I don't want to lose that. And then what I do is I've got, these are the little tools I use to arrange that opening. So what I do is I take that pin and I measure it on a micrometer. This is my little micrometer here, it's just a manual, a one. So I get the diameter of that pin because different pianos have different diameters. And I match it to these little tools I have here. These are basically like pins. And that's the right size, that's the one I've been using on some of the other keys that I worked on. This is 49, I guess it's millimeters, micrometers, I don't know. So now, I'll take this and I'll carefully insert it through the opening where the pin was. And this one, if, if you can tell, it's almost like a sewing needle, but back here, it's got a little rough area, like a file. And so that, what I do, as I push this through very gently because I still don't want to push out that felt. All I want to do is file it out a little bit. So I get it to where that little rough area is and, and just kind of sand it file, it, file it back to its original size. I'm twisting as I, as I push back and forth. That feels good, feels better. So now, the next thing is I get my PTFE powder. And the way I do it is I just dip the same tool that I have into the powder. So now I have like a little dab of it. 
and I gently pour it in, pour it, push it, whatever I need to do to get that powder in that cavity. So it's like a dry lubricant, like a dry WD-40. I do it to both sides. So that little felt piece in the middle, that joint, will be smoother. get that pin back in. Don't want to breathe any of this stuff in, so you have to be careful. Either wear a mask or keep it away from you enough where you're not breathing this into your lungs because this can ruin you. powder because I don't want humidity to get to it and I don't sure, certainly don't want it to blow around into the room. I wipe down my little tool, put that back in this protective little case so I don't accidentally stab myself with it. And the next thing is to push that pin back into position. So that's another part you have to be careful. Not to drop it, so I don't want to lose it. Kind of find where the hole is and just start start it off. Make sure it's going in straight. Because again, if it goes crooked, it'll push out that felt. And this time I take the other side. One side had the pin that pushes the pushes it out. The other side is a flat surface that pushes the pin back in position. Uh, go slow, easy, you get a feel for it. Because I don't want to pull out, I don't want to push out the felt out the back end. I go real slow. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So now, you can see the pin is back in position. And hopefully it should be a lot more responsive. See how much faster that is now? It's like, it's like new. Yeah, that's really nice. See? So that, before when I was doing it, it was like really going slow, really dragging, but now it's very good. So now I'll put this back into the action. And later in the process, we'll test them out and see how they work. <laughs> 